Hi, this is Not Too Fast here. In this video, I will be making a repair on my garage door. And I'm not talking about the garage opener having a problem. It's actually the door itself because garage door has a spring that is typically at the top of the garage door and mine broke. Now on this one that I have here, the spring is actually hidden inside that metal tube up top. And that spring inside is broken. And what happened last week is that when I opened up the garage door, it went up about maybe halfway and then you hear a big snap and that's when the spring broke and then the garage door wouldn't go up anymore. So I did some research and this garage door I have here is made by a company called Wayne Dalton and they designed this special spring that's hidden inside that top pipe called a Torque Master. And they have two versions, the older one is the Torque Master 1 and then later on, after 2007, they made one called Torque Master Plus. This garage door I have here only requires one spring on the right side. And there's no spring on the left side. But if you have a wider garage door, yours might have spring on the left and the right side. So in this video, I will be replacing the spring assembly that's on the right side. I'll quickly show you what I downloaded off the internet. This is a Wayne Dalton Torque Master Replacement Spring Guide. And as you can see, it's very, very good. It has tons of description and picture to show you what needs to be removed. So look online if you need to replace your spring for this type of garage door opener. Then just go online and Google Torque Master and you'll find the guide that you need. So let me first show you how you can tell if you have one spring or two spring. On the right side here, this is the end assembly and you can see there's a dial with some numbers on it. On the left side, you can see there are no dial at the end. So that tells you there's no spring inside this end. First thing you want to check is to make sure there are no tension on the wire. As you can see, this one is very loose because a spring broke inside this pipe. Now you need to loosen the back 7 16 locking nut. You may need to put a socket in the front to hold it in place. But loosen this. Now for the next step, is necessary if you still have tension on the cable because the spring can hold a lot of energy. So what you want to do is use a driver. You cannot use an impact gun, but an electric driver is okay. And you want to turn the 7 16 bolt counterclockwise. As you're turning this counterclockwise, what you'll see is that this dial will slowly go back to zero. Now you want to remove this counter assembly right here and also remove this gear right here. You might slowly work your way around and you'll see this come loose. Now we'll remove the upper bolt that's holding the bracket. left side, remove these two bolts holding the cable assembly also. Now remove the end bracket. Now you can lift this up and then remove this cable drum off the end here. Now to make that removal a little easier, in the middle there's a gear here and it's held in place by this metal tab. What you want to do is bend this tab away from the gear and that will free up this gear so you can lift the shaft up. Now it's a bit tough to film this while I'm up on a ladder but what I did is I took a hammer and I just tapped along this edge here and you can see right here it's loosened so I'm going to remove this off the tube now back on the right side we'll go ahead and remove this end bracket now this gear will come out. Now we'll lift this end up and remove the drum reel. Now you can take the entire tube and lay it on the ground. I went ahead and tilted the tube and the spring came right out. So there's really no resistance 
when the spring comes out. But you do need to remove this tube off the bracket because you need to tilt it to get the spring to come out. As you can see, the top one is the one that's broken. There's a break. The bottom one here is the brand new one that I just picked up. Another thing to know is that when you order this, you have to specify a couple of things. One is you need to specify the height of your garage door, the weight of your garage door, whether you have a Torque Master 1 or the Torque Master Plus, or sometimes they call it Torque Master 2. With all that information, then they'll be able to ship you the correct spring. Now you can go to the Wayne Dalton website and you can order it directly off their website. Now with the new spring, I noticed that it does not go in from the right. This is too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it in from the left side and then let the spring drop over to the right side. So I just tilted the tube and then the spring came through onto the right side. Now I've placed the tube back onto the bracket. Now we will install the left cable drum. Now we will reinstall the end bracket on the left side. Put the drive gear back on. While you're here, you should also lubricate it. Reinstall the bolts. This is the counter gear, and you'll notice that one side has the missing tooth. This needs to be facing towards you. Go ahead and slide this onto the end bracket and it'll snap in place. Now install this cover with zero lined up with this notch right here. Don't forget to bend this metal tab back over to lock it in place. Before you adjust the tension you should get locking pliers and clamp onto the rail where one of the rollers are. Now we can adjust the tension and refer to the install guide there is actually a table here for the height of the door. This is the number of turns you want to have. Now, the number on this dial corresponds to the number of turn. So go ahead and use your driver. Again, you cannot use an impact gun because the gears are plastic. So you don't want to damage the gears. But we'll go ahead and start turning this clockwise. And while you're doing this, you want to pay attention to the cable on the drum. Make sure the cable sits in the groove properly on both left and right side. drive mechanism disengaged, go ahead and lift the garage door up and down and you want to make sure that the garage door will go up and down very easily but you don't want the garage door to fly up really fast or drop really fast. This garage door is about 70 pounds and as you can see I'm using one finger and I can lift it up and down so I know the tension is correct. If you need to adjust a little bit more on the tension go ahead and do that so that there's a balance between the up and down motion. The last thing you have to do is tighten the locking bolt at the back here. Okay, time to test it out. Let's open the garage door. Excellent. 
So I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.